Hey guys, this is Kelly here, and I thought I would try to bring to you some gameplay of a game called Tex Murphy Tesla Effect. Uh, this is a sequel uh, to a game that I first played called Tex Murphy Overseer. Now, it was uh, a series of games, and I think that one, even Overseer, was probably the fourth or fifth one in the series. But it was back in the 90s when they did the full motion video and stuff like that. And uh, But anyway, this game didn't have a sequel for a long time. Well, they had a Kickstarter to try and bring this game back. And uh, so what I, I did is, is I didn't get in on the Kickstarter like I wanted to. But I was able to pre-order the game and I did get the game and it came out last Tuesday. And uh, just now had a chance to get out, sit down and uh, play a few minutes of it thought I would try to bring a video of uh, a little bit of the play see if you guys might enjoy it or not but anyway we'll get on into the game here first I'm going to check my options real quick just to make sure that should be able to handle all this. We'll see. If it looks pretty crappy or really laggy, then we'll change some stuff back. Alright, let's go ahead and play. Casual mode. While using the flashlight, sparkles will appear around objects that can be picked up. The in-game hint system accessible using it costs points. Some puzzles may be skipped from the menu. Doing so costs points. Gamer mode. The flashlight will not reveal any sparkle hints. The in-game hint system is accessible, is inaccessible. Puzzles may not be skipped. Points are earned based on the thoroughness and strength of your investigative skill. Let's go with gamer mode. And then if I have a really tough time with it, then maybe we'll switch back to casual mode. We'll see. Oh, got to enter a name. Ah. Yep, if I had my hands on the right keys. There we go. And play. Where am I? Is this a dream? Not quite, Murphy. Then you're the... The big P.I. in the sky? That's right, Murphy. But now is not the time for you to be here. There is a vast and malignant evil at work on the Earth, and fate, for some reason that even I cannot fathom, has chosen you to oppose it. But why me? I'm no more thrilled about it than you are. Nevertheless, your fate has been decided. This is a rather quirky series of games, too. It's one of its charms. Tex Murphy Adventure. Tex Murphy. I'm a small-time private investigator in the big city of New San Francisco. 
My office isn't in the glamour districts. It's in the run-down, mutant part of the city, close to Koi Tower. A place they've been refurbishing for years, but it never seems to improve. Not exactly great for business, but it holds a strange attraction for me. I've cracked some pretty big cases over the years. You may even have heard of me. But I don't do much investigating anymore. These days, I'm known for being a man who gets things done, no matter what the cost. You got a job that pays? I'll do it. No questions asked. I can't really remember why I became a PI. Maybe I was drawn to the romance, adventure, and independence it offered. Or maybe because I believed in its code of honor. That a man can remain untarnished as others sink into a cesspool of lies, corruption, and greed. A man better than the world around him. Check that out. set of principles can slowly slip from your grasp. The world has a way of beating you into submission. Circumstances change. The guilty aren't always punished. Temptations become obsessions, and love can be violently taken, leaving it empty and hollow. Each day, innocence fades, and your character weakens. And that's not all at once, but a piece at a time until you can't be put back together again. You finally realize the only way to get ahead in this world is to make sure you're on the winning side and then do anything you can to stay alive. I don't know why I'm so reflective tonight. Maybe I finally crossed the Rubicon, but that's not true either. I passed that sign miles back and didn't even pause to take a picture. Maybe I just feel extra guilty tonight for what I'm about to do. never agreed to do something this despicable. I can't explain why I do this, but maybe Judas would understand. <laughs> kind of brings back the 90s all over again. Seven year ouch. <laughs> Are you over here? Hey, you over here. Finally! What was all that commotion outside, anyway? Howza! You really got a hit on the head. Remember me? Your old pal, Huck? Seriously, you look clueless. Uh, who or what are you? 
Geez, how hard did you hit your head? Well, let me reintroduce myself. I'm your smart Alex, your personal assistant mm. version 1.5, fashioned mm. three years ago in a factory with truly horrible working conditions. <laughs> you don't want to know. I'm your trusty tech-savvy sidekick, whose primary functions include travel agent, inventory tracking and analysis, investigative advice, case notes, and I'm also a confidant and a best buddy, you gigantic oaf. Remember? Not really. Would you like a tutorial on my usage? Watch tutorial video, skip tutorial. Let's watch the tutorial. Activating tutorial mode. Let's begin. Welcome to the Smart Alex interface. This is where the magic happens. This button takes you to your inventory. Items you pick up along the way can be viewed and used from here. To take a closer look at an item, select it and then click the examine icon. The examine feature often gives clues about the object. This is your map, where you can view your current location or warp to other locales. This icon is our handy-dandy built-in hint system. It will list tasks for each location. This is your flashlight. If you are in a particularly dark environment, you can turn on this flashlight to help you out. If you're playing in casual mode, when the beam of light from the flashlight shines on an object that needs to be picked up, the object will sparkle. This is the look icon. If you want to look at an object without interacting with it, press this icon. Yeah, more furniture I don't recognize. The Use icon allows you to interact with an object in the environment. The Smart Alex icon will flash in the corner confirming an item has been picked up and placed in the inventory. To exit out of the Smart Alex game interface, click on the giant X in the middle. Let's start by picking up an item to add to the inventory. Walk over to the corner shelf and pick up the broken record. Oh man. My Gene Autry record's broken in two. <laughs> now let's take a look at this new addition in your inventory. Return to the Smart Alex interface and click on the inventory icon. Look, the broken record. Examine the broken record to hear a clue about what to do with it. I'll need some glue to repair this broken record. Exit your inventory by clicking the X in the upper right corner. Well, let's try picking up another inventory item. Navigate to the desk and pick up the bottle of glue. It's a bottle of stupid glue. Now open your inventory again. You now have both the broken record and the bottle of glue. Let's try combining your two inventory items. Select the broken record and drag it to one of the combination slots below. Now select the glue and drag it to the other combination slot. I'm experiencing a sensation altogether new to me, and frankly, I love it. Success! You have now created a vinyl record. Well, I definitely remember my Gene Autry record. It's my one stability in this crazy world. Try using the vinyl record on your Victrola player in your office. To use an inventory item, simply point at the target, open the inventory, select an item, and then press the Use icon. I close my eyes Ah, Gene Autry the Singing Cowboy. Nice choice of music. One, one more thing. I to access the pause menu, simply hit Escape. From here, you can save your game, access the main menu, explore the help section, or quit the game. Yep, that's all there is to it. Now let's get back to your actual case. All right. You have a fax. You have oh, that's a fax. familiar. <laughs> Last uh, game I played like this, it started out with that. You have a fax. Let's check it out here. Hmm. No messages on the vid phone. Oh, fax. Okay. Oh boy. A fax. Well, it's another Mike and I Hammer candy comic, Key Lime Largo. I'll put this in my comic book. My friend Louie runs the Brew and Stew, and this is his personal brand of coffee. I gotta say, it packs a wallop. Can I pick it up? My friend Louie cool. runs the Brew and Stew, and this is his personal brand of coffee. I gotta say, it packs a wallop. When things get slow in the detective business, I've always been able to fall back on my skills as a dance instructor. <laughs> Same thing for this When things one. get slow yep. in the detective business, I've always been able to fall back on my skills as a dance instructor. Well, we see the broken record here, so we'll go ahead and pick it up. This record's broken in two. <laughs> it's my Gene Autry fake book. Whenever I'm feeling low, I can sing the songs of my hero. <laughs> Come 
Maltese Falcon? I don't remember picking up this little souvenir. How long was I knocked out? Humphrey Bogart. One of my golf partners. Old Bogey, we call him. Hmm. <laughs> These are my credentials. They don't just give this to anyone. You have to pay a fee. <laughs> These are my credentials. Oh, okay. So they it's don't all just the give this to anyone. You have what to pay a fee. What we got back here? Ah, uh, the big Finnish detective by your Aaron Corners. Finns make the best detectives. Let's see if I can pick it up. Nope. Okay. <laughs> I guess there's anything I can interact with in there. Let's check the bottom drawer. And nothing. Okay, guitar. Oh man, my Richie Haven signature guitar signature disappeared. That'll teach me to get an autograph with a dry erase marker. <laughs> okay. Well, we know we got to pick up the glue, so we'll go ahead and get it's it. It's always useful. Let's see what this is. Article on the Russian white movement. Am I truly so bored? I'm reading Russian history. <laughs> Can I pick it up? Article nope. on the Russian white movement. Am I truly so bored? I'm. <laughs> this looks interesting. Probably a book on how to map out fun spots to visit inside your brain. It's one of my business cards, but it looks different. Why did you change these? <laughs> PI rules are for sissies. I've been able to achieve a certain level of success ignoring all the rules of my business. <laughs> oh, my decoder ring. Resort? Sounds like an upscale condo community. <laughs> Definitely not something I'm interested in. Whoa, this melted chocolate bar has been in here for a while. <laughs> chocolate always reminds me of Clint, one of the residents at Chandler Avenue. This isn't a good time for a social call, punk. If I don't get a fix soon, I'll go insane! <laughs> Dory me for a lot to do! What do you mean, go insane? Seems to me you're already there. How do you get lost before I eat that chocolate colored hat of yours? <laughs> hmm. Okay, that was weird. And box door, nothing in it. Okay. We know we don't have a f anything on that. I'll check it one more time. Hmm. No messages on the nope. vid phone. Ah, uh, the colonel. He was my first real mentor in the PI business, and here he is giving me a helpful tip. <laughs> because apparently you never learned the first rule of a PI. And never, ever, betray your friends. Now, friendship goes beyond blood and race and politics. You gotta find out who your friends are, then you hold on to them! I always get the chill of fear down my spine whenever I think of him. Apparently there's nothing in there. Let's check out this computer. Looks like somebody's wiped my computer clean. Oh. So nothing there. I was leaving it to come back to, but apparently there's nothing to come back to. Archie Ellis wrote a book? I bet this sells for pennies on eBay. Well, this happened on my first case. I was in the shootout of my life at the warehouse district. <laughs> I'm guessing that might actually be gameplay from the first one. <laughs> I took a bullet and while I was recovering, I swore I was always going to use my brains before brawn. My indispensable water cooler still doesn't have paper cups. Oh, you know what? I forgot to look at all this money on the floor. What on earth is this amount of cash doing in my office? If someone was trying to hire me to do something, it probably wasn't legal. I better put this away until I know exactly why it's here. Oh, 
Okay, that goes out. So let's, uh... Salsa dancing is a Murphy family tradition. Wait a minute, there's a door over here real quick. Let's check it out. Okay, well, before I look into anything else, and plus I'm getting close to, uh... The 20 minute mark that I like to keep my videos to. It's a note from my old friend Archie Ellis. Apparently, he's out of town doing some research. When he returns, I'll need to ask him about the case we're working on. But I'll try to keep these also to around 20 25 minutes. So I may finish looking through these rooms here. The door to my back storage room is locked. That's strange. And then we'll. Oh, I had this door permanently sealed as it opened directly into my bedroom. People thought that was awfully presumptuous of me. <laughs> but uh, I'll finish checking out this room here and then we'll call it quits for this playthrough, guys. And then I'll come back with the next one and we'll get a little bit further on in. I certainly don't remember this piece of furniture. Looks like a genuine antique instead of something I normally get at a white elephant sale. Yeah, I remember years ago, I was finishing up the latest Mike and Ike Candy Kids adventure, and I realized I devoured several chapters, and it wasn't agreeing with me. I could feel my stomach churning like a volcano, and I realized I wasn't going to make it to the bathroom. Oh, what the, I'll get you, Miffy, if he's the last thing I do. Yeah, it's kind of been a sore spot in our relationship ever since. Yeah, not many people wake up from blackouts with new furniture. What's up with the bed? Looks like it's for a Lothario instead of some hard-working down-on-his-luck P.I. Am I going crazy here? Mm -hmm. It's a sitting room. Good for sitting. Okay, I'd say this is going to stay the same as the other side. All I need is one good night stand. Oh, well, i got two. All right, let's see what this is. I can open it up. Footrest. Picked it up at a government warehouse sale years back. But I've never had the nerve to open it all the way. Yeah. Let's go over here and look at the wall. Yeah, San Francisco looks way different now. Ah, that was from my first jackalope hunt. <laughs> Whoa. I've never seen this much money in my life. If this is my money, what were they paying me for? Huh. All right, guys. Looks like uh oh wait a minute. Nope. There's a couple more things. Let's look up here. Someday, I hope to collect all of the Mike and Ike Hammer comics and place them here. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I think I have looked at everything in here. So we're gonna go out here into this room again. Because I think the next thing to do well here, I guess what we can do real quick is we'll go ahead and put this stuff. And combine it. Hey, it worked! And then we will exit out. Come over here. Oh, there we go. I close my eyes and dream of one. The one Can we turn it off now? I oh no, we just started over and over. And okay. Well, guys, I want to call it quits here for the moment, and we'll come back to this the next time. Hope you've enjoyed this little uh, playthrough of this game. Now, this, like I said, it is a throwback to uh, uh, some 90s games, and uh, it's very reminiscent of uh, Overseer, the game that I've played before. Now, when I pre-ordered this game off of Steam, I also got um, Pandora Directive, which was, uh, I think, the, the prequel to Overseer. And I played it for, uh, or I haven't played it yet. I'm going to try and check it out too. But now it definitely was made back in the 90s, so it's going to be a little bit rougher. But I may even try to do some uh, gameplay through it. If, if you guys like this here, just let me know. And maybe I'll go back and play some of it too, just kind of show you guys what it looked like. But anyway, that's going to do it for now. So until the next video, guys, see you later.